Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for joining us here at the Miracle House of Prayer, 604 East 38th Street, Houston, Texas, 77022. We are here to lift up Jesus today. We are excited about Jesus, what he's already done, what he's doing right now, and what he's going to do today. Hallelujah. Amen. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I didn't have no nightmares last night. Glory to God. I had sweet dreams. Hallelujah. And I magnify the Lord. How he, he's a keeper. He's a mind regulator. He's a great emancipator. He's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Come on. He's a mind regulator. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a 
and accepted in and expected in Jeremiah 29 and 11. How many of you know, amen, that God knows just what he has in store for us? Oh yes, oh yes, he knows, amen. He made us, he knows all about us. Glory to God. As a matter of fact, we could not have gotten out this morning if it was not for the strength of God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, so we are so grateful this morning. And, uh, we are always, uh, we like to remind the saints of God who we are. And that is, uh, if every soul will save a soul, then every soul will be saved. Amen. I don't ever get tired of saying that. Because every day I go through this society, I meet someone that needs Jesus. I meet someone that needs to be saved. Glory to God. So that's why we have the testimony. Amen. That every soul will save a soul. That every soul will be saved. Amen, amen, amen. And certainly, uh, I'd like to say again today that this is the second Sunday in June. And I know most of you already looked at the calendar. But what you need to know is this is a good day to have a good day. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, it is. Anybody in the house know what I'm talking about? That it's a good day to have a good day. Anybody on the side? Anybody on that side? to have a good day. Hallelujah. We are so grateful. And we're looking forward to going higher today. Amen. I know, amen, it's, it's close to summertime. And it's warm, early outside. Amen. But you know what? It's good to, to be able to get up and feel the heat. Amen. All yes it is. Glory to God. Amen. And I uh, heard the evangelist say one day, uh, amen, someone was complaining about they were getting old. Amen. And I say, we don't get old. Amen. We just mature. Amen. But the uh, evangelist told us, said, well, I'll tell you what. He said, you don't want to get old? The only answer I have to you is for you to die young. Hello. Amen. And that individual, they heard up and they changed their vision. They said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's all right. Amen. To grow to where the wisdom come. We have. Amen. It's all right. Amen. I'm so grateful. Amen. That the Lord is a good God all the time. And all the time, God is a good God. Amen. This time, amen. We're looking forward to going higher. In this service today, we're going to give you into the hands of the very capable minister of music right here at the Miracle House of Prayer. Have been a member of this church all of his young life. Amen. And we are excited about him and what he's doing for the body of Christ. We see none other than the director, musician of the Miracle House of Prayer. Amen. Listen.
Even though on the outside, it often looked like things are falling apart on us. On the inside, where God is making a new life, not a day goes by without his unfolding grace. These hard times are just small potatoes compared to the good times, the lavish celebration prepared for us. There's four, four more here that meets the eye. The things we see now are here today, gone tomorrow. But the things we can't see now last forever. Mm -hmm. Right, so those things last forever. So we want to just believe God for his word. Right, so we don't want to get caught up in material things or just caught up in what we can accomplish and forget about God. I'm not going to forget about God. Amen? Praise God, I was thinking, um, our world, if you look around, our world has progressed so much. Think about what the scientist has done. Think about the medical advances. Think about the architect architectural advances. How beautiful it is. How the new buildings are going up. Think, think about how there's now financial aid, much financial aid for education. It's available to our children. And the list goes on and on. The church, we want to remember. Young people, we want to remember. All of this that are available to us, we want to put Jesus first. Praise God. Put Jesus first in our, in our life. Because only what you do. Can I get a church that's willing to hear the voice of the Lord? Can I get a church that, that believes that Christ put it in my heart to tell you? Amen. Hallelujah. Only what you do for Christ is going to last. Amen. Hallelujah. I was reading an article about the man that created the dynamite. You all know what the dynamite is full of destruction. It kills, it destroys. Praise the Lord. And Alfred Noble, he's the one that created the dynamite. The dynamite, he locked in war, and he was known for creating the dynamite all his life, and he was stunned when he read his obituary. He was stunned, hallelujah, when his obituary referred to him as a merchant of death. Nobody wants to be remembered like that. Think about what your obituary is going to say. You know you can write it early. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But what we do for Christ is going to last. Hallelujah. And as he read that, so, so he vowed in his heart. He vowed. He did not want to be remembered as such. So he decided to leave his immense fortune, his fortune that he made, uh, his richness that he had got. He decided to leave it to science, literature, and peace, for the peace of God, for the peace, for people can find peace. He decided to change his image, hallelujah, so let's build our image now. As young, even no matter uh, anyone out there that's not saved, you can change, hallelujah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what people are saying about you, what people are not believing. You know, some, some young people have heard even from their parents, you're not going to be anything. Yeah. But you are going to be something, hallelujah, because you put it in Christ's hands. If you turn your priorities over to Christ, so uh, he left his fortune to establish the Nobel Prize. Praise the God. Greg he wanted this to recognize, as I said, of uh, the greatest benefit of mankind. Peace, science, literature. Isn't that good? Let's clap our hands, hallelujah, for that. 
inheritance from the Lord as a reward. As you work in church, don't you don't you know that you're going to receive award reward from the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah, an eternal reward. Praise God, Matthew twenty six six nine through nine. While he was in Bethany, reaching reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper. A woman came to him with an alabaster jar, a very expensive perfume made of pure naught. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Some of those present were saying indignant dignity to one another. Why? This waste of perfume. It could have been sold for more than a year's wage and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Leave her alone, hallelujah, said Jesus. Jesus told the people to leave her alone, hallelujah. She was doing something for the Lord. She was working for the Lord, hallelujah. Why are you bothering her? This is what Jesus said. She has done a beautiful thing. Can you imagine her, praise the Lord, anointing Jesus' body? Can you imagine her, praise the Lord, worshiping the Lord? Hallelujah. And that's what you do when you give praises unto the Lord. You're worshiping him, hallelujah. You're worshiping him in the beauty of holiness. Have you, uh, the poor, Jesus said the poor, you will have what you always, and you can help them anytime you want. But you will not always have me. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the gospel is preached, this is her reward. Wherever the gospel is preached. Throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Praise the Lord, in memory of her. You see how the Lord will reward you? We ought to clap our hands right there. What this lady done, she did it out of her heart for Jesus. And Jesus' word is true. He, what his promises are true to us. Can you 
years come on. before I left. Come on. And now I was doing it longer at Bell Street Tabernacle, but I'm not tired yet. Of this one thing, 
that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And of which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fur and heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Praise the Lord. He is restraining himself on account of you that are not ready to meet the Lord. He's holding back the end because he doesn't want any loss. He's given everyone Hallelujah, space and time to change. Amen. But when the day of God's judgment come, it will be unannounced like a thief. The sky will collapse with a thunderous bang, everything disinterrogated in a raging inferno earth. And all this works exposed to the scrutiny of judgment. Make your choice. Praise the Lord. Make your choice. Only what you do with Christ will last. Hallelujah. And you know I always have, I always have a song. Hallelujah. The Lord loves us. Only what you do with Christ will last. You may build great cathedrals, large and small. You can build skyscrapers. Thank you. 